good morning good afternoon good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, this is home Lee welcome back to my channel uh, didn't get to complete the video last week that I had hoped to uh, to get out to you guys I did have something uh, that uploaded last week while I was gone uh, again it wasn't the video that I had intended to uh, when I got the opportunity to make that video I thought oh okay I'll end up with two videos this week but alas I did not uh, I had some work related things going on and had to get other stuff taken care of before I was out of town so uh, I plan on getting that video out and I hope to shoot the footage for uh, that Boomco uh, sniper clip, sniper strip uh, comparison this afternoon. If not, I'll try to get it tomorrow and get that out to you guys just as soon as I can. But it's something that uh, I've wanted to do out of my own curiosity and uh, sort of to clear up uh, some things that are floating around out there. But what I have here is a package from Boomtendo. Uh, this is some stuff that I ordered off of his Etsy shop. A uh, couple of things for uh, one project I'm kind of working on that I've shown a piece for before uh, and another's, uh, another thing that I was wanting to do and to my understanding there are some things in here uh, that he's been working on himself and uh, he shared a few of them with me oh boy I can paint out the galore here. Uh, the few things that he shared with me uh, that I hope to be able to use or at least possibly do some testing for him. Okay. This is one of the pieces I ordered. And from my understanding, he had some problems with it. Uh, Another tri blast ish cylinder. There's another. Uh, now these. Oh, okay. Uh, now this is some of the stuff he's been working on that he sent to me. I didn't realize for a minute what all was in there. Uh, we do have some silicone Boomco heads. Uh, he's working on developing uh, Boomco darts that will fire from uh, brass and you know, tighter sealed systems and things like that and uh, toying with half-length darts and those kinds of things. Uh, now these are some magazine adapters and he's sent me about five of them that will fit into a Nerf magazine. Now, don't have a regular mag handy. So I'll have to demonstrate on a drum here, but that will go into the feed lips on a uh, Nerf magazine and it won't interfere 
with the pusher rod on a flywheel blaster moving through and feeding boomco darts through a flywheel. So that's something intriguing that he has going on there and he's sent some of those for me to test out and see how they do. He has packed this rather nicely. Now, I didn't go into detail on this because I wasn't entirely certain when I first pulled it out. Uh, but I think peeking into the package, uh, I can kind of tell. This is a Boomco dart holder. That will fit onto the front of a Halo M6. And that's, uh, these things are just stupendous little uh, blasters. And his is designed to replace this handguard. Uh, I kind of like that. Uh, I had one that I showed off on my blue M6 uh, a little while back that just kind of bracketed in here and here. Uh, it was more easily and more quickly taken off, but uh, it was also easier for something to happen to it and cause it to come loose. Uh, but this one will fit if you'll it's got this groove here that lines up in this spot here. And as you can see, when you line that up, it lines up with the screw holes on that guard. So you can take this guard off, pop this in. And he's also put Picatinny on the bottom of it. So you can uh, attach, you know, tactical flashlight holders, various things like that and or I, I'm pretty sure that's Picatinny uh, I'll have to double check and see I, it doesn't look like the Boomco rail to me uh, if it was Boomco rail then you could uh, potentially turn around and you know put on uh, a Boomco rounds magazine you could have extra ammo holders things like that there and the reason I had to double check is he had a little bit of some issues while he was trying to print that for me the mother motherboard fried on his 3d printer and uh, he went ahead and sent me uh, he was going to send me the failed print as well and Yeah, there's a maybe a few small imperfections that I I'm seeing on this, but I don't see anything significant uh, that print. I mean, it's not as cleaner is finished but I mean it looks like a good print anyway uh, and I appreciate him sending me that uh, you know he could have sent it off as a, a factory second sold it to somebody something like that uh, but you know he he sent it to me now uh, one thing I'll say he has modified and updated his tri-blast cylinders from the last time I got them, and I think he has done it uh, because the tri blast is about impossible to find. Uh, the Batgirl blaster is floating around out there. Uh, you can find a few on Amazon and some places like that. Uh, it's got to be quick. You got to be sneaky because uh, you know the the tri blast is a good little pistol. It's a good little backup blaster, 
but the Batgirl blaster, he has done a tribute to that and put the, uh, I guess I should say, non-affiliated flying mammal based superhero emblem on there and uh, not throw anything up that could possibly cause him any copyright issues. And then what I think is last here, let me, oh, 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 oh. straight art head, uh, oh, another straight art head, I'll have to sort through these like digging for trinkets in the desert, uh, make sure that I've not missed any other those dart heads because uh, those are something I look forward to toying with uh, when I get the time later this summer but this uh, I'm going to give this a try uh, I've not dealt with any of the century springs or anything like that and some people recommend them pretty highly for a lot of the boom go blasters uh, instead of K26 allegedly uh, and I'm, I'm going to try it out some for myself but from what Boomtendo has told me uh, and from a few other people uh, with this spring I mean it is pretty stout uh, it's not as difficult to prime as K26 and uh, you're pretty close to the velocity that K26 can get you. And the reason that I wanted to try this spring out is uh, I've got a blaster that I, I have heard people have been able to get to K26 in it. I've heard people have been able to do other spring upgrades and things with it, but I figured I would try the Sentry Spring since it's a little bit easier to work with in my Boomco Halo Blaze of Glory. Uh, I haven't put my stock attachment on there yet. Uh, I'm waiting until I crack the whole thing open. Uh, and I was trying to decide how I was going to spring it. I've had this for a couple of months now. And, uh, or I say a couple of months, probably close to six. Uh, been trying to decide how I was going to spring it and things like that. I do hope that as Toys R Us is closing and leaving us here in the United States, that somebody will pick up the Boomco Blasters because essentially Toys R Us has been the only place that's carried them for some time and this blaster right here was a Boomco Blaster that many people were waiting on for a long time. Uh, I hope they're able to uh, pick this up and carry it. Um, I may even repaint this if the mood strikes me. Uh, I'm not real sure what I'll do, but I will probably see about removing this door on the side. Uh, I know it doesn't really interfere with clips feeding, but I just, I know if I run this very much, especially in any sort of uh, dart flinging warfare, uh, I'm probably going to be using 40 rounders and they're going to be sticking out the side and you'll have that thing bat winged out uh, you know as a cosplay piece or as a collectible piece something like that uh, you know keeping that on would be perfectly fine I understand why they put it on there was to to give it a nice profile there on the side but uh, I look for, forward to working on this um, this is a nice little blaster with quite a bit of potential. Uh, slam fire, uh, drop that spring in there, 
uh, get the uh, do the internal mod about getting a, a better pump stroke put the uh, extended stock from Boomtendo on there and I did order a while back and I think it was in one of my mail call videos uh, that extended stock I got the piece that will hold clips the Boomco clips on it uh, so you know I could potentially uh, tote around 120 rounds with this have a 40 uh, in the front and then two 40s back here although what I would probably do is run a 40 in the front and two 20s uh, just for practicality purposes but you know this is a good little blaster uh, you know one of my favorite blasters in the nerf line is the elite alpha trooper uh, going back actually um, the alpha trooper was one of the first blasters in the end strike line that i picked up and i absolutely loved that blaster uh, the slam fire the you know the decent profile the ability to use a stock things like that you know, I liked the Raider and the Rampage, but the Elite Alpha Trooper being able to, uh, you know, pop a good stock on there, having the shotgun style grip, uh, having, you know, with them, the, the clip, the magazines were bottom fed, uh, where, you know, with the Raider and Rampage, you have it out the side. Uh, you know, the, the Eat, uh, and, and the old AT uh, were favorites of mine and I liked the Raider and Rampage for that matter uh, slam fire ability decent capacity you know good form factor like this this is a blaster that Boomco was needing to pull in uh, some of the mainstream attention Several people have said it's too little, too late. I hope it's not. Uh, the Boomco system is a very good system. Uh, it, it's uh, definitely a take it or leave it thing. Some people really enjoy it. Uh, some people didn't see any use in it. But there's a lot of potential in those little plastic straws. And... I think that there'll be a, uh, this could be a great primary for uh, certain war types. This was almost, if I'd had the time to have done everything to this that I'd like to, uh, I was very tempted to run this as a primary to end war uh, just to be contrary and use boom code arts. Just to be doing something different but that's the package that I have from Boom Tendo uh, boom brother uh, I, I really appreciate these uh, I hope to put them to good use again it'll probably be a little while before I get the chance to, to do with these what I would like to and to test them out myself uh, and I'm, I'm not super big on brass breeches and things like that. I'm going to have to learn a little bit of that myself before I can put those heads to good use uh, and, and do some proper testing with them. And then uh, when I get some flywheel builds going, I'll definitely test out those uh, magazine adapters and see how those do. I'm, I'm tickled with those. I, you told me you was going to drop a couple in there. I did not expect that many. Uh, I really appreciate that, brother. Uh, so, this has been Homely665. Uh, this has been a, a rather different mail call video. And in honor of the uh, Boom Code Arts, Keep flinging those darts.